Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Z, this is Autos by Z, and today I have the third generation BMW X5 for you guys. <laughs> about the BMW X5. The X5 has been around since 1999 and it's extremely popular. This SUV is extremely capable, it looks good, and it's very luxurious. Many people call this the sports car of the luxury SUV segment. Today we have the third generation. The X5 is in its fourth generation right now, but some of you guys that want to probably purchase a pre-owned certified X5, this is the one you would probably go for. Let's talk about the design of the third generation BMW X5. I think the X5 looks really, really attractive from the front. I think it has an extremely aggressive look. When you see this behind you, you won't move out of the way. It has a very high ride height. Um, I'm talking about the headlights, these are by Xenon adaptive headlights. These are halo LEDs in the middle. You know, BMW has that sort of halo design and ours does have the incandescent turn signals. I know if you go up in the trims, you can get an LED over here. Looking at the fog light, they're round. It is LED, so that's a nice touch. I really like the bottom bumper. This is, you know, very tasteful, attractive going this way. The signature BMW kidney grill. The grills on these cars are just getting larger and larger. I think this one is one of the most attractive grills that BMW has produced. Um, if we look over here, we have the BMW logo and we have two sort of bulges going up on the hood. Um, it makes it a lot more aggressive and attractive. At the bottom, we have flat black. We have our sensors at the bottom as well. Um, overall, I think the front of the X5 is really attractive. The rims on ours are 18 inches. These are uh, the plain Jane rims. You have a lot of options you can get on the X5. There's also a 20 inch rim you can get. And we have the deflector over here. And as you can see here, we have flat black kind of wrapping on the vehicle. Talking about the mirror, we have an LED turn signal over here. It is color matched to give it that attractive look. Coming to the bottom, we have an X drive, which is BMW signature all wheel drive system, 35i badge, another functional air curtain over here, which gives it an attractive look. There's no slapped on chrome on this car, except obviously on the door sills. Um, I think that was a good part on BMW. I don't like the slapped on chrome. The back of the BMW X5 is equally attractive. If you look over here, we have a rear spoiler, we have a shark fin antenna, this is an LED light, this wiper should have been under here, but they chose to go this route. We have the X5 sign, the big BMW sign, and this is a full LED combination light. The turn signals are LED, the brake lights LED, and the light itself is LED as well. Looking at the back bumper, we have the sensors and the rear deflectors. There is a dual exhaust here, one over here, and flat black at the bottom to uh, top it all off. Opening the trunk of the X5, there is a button on the key, you just press it and it opens up for you. Obviously it is automatic. BMW has sort of a bench style trunk so you can open this portion. And you know, that gives you a nice uh, way to put in any cargo. With the seats up, this is around 36 cubic feet of space. If you put the seats down, you'll get 77 cubic feet of space. So obviously it is a it is decent amount of cargo you, you can put back here. Talking about the trunk, you also have this nice area. Uh, as you can see, you have some tools here. Any stuff, you know, as you can see, we're making full use of it. Any things that you wanna hide over there on the right you have this nice area uh swimming shorts <laughs> a little pocket you can put anything that you don't want to roll around in the back you have a 12 volt over here so that's nice you have a clip if you want to hang anything in the back 
on this side and on this side and you have this nice net and a net over here very nice keep the video on let me show you how to pull the seat there is a button right here you press it and voila that's how the seat comes down all right guys, so you can see that we popped open the hood here. Um, you do get hydraulic hood struts, so that's really nice. This is a luxury SUV, so you will be getting that. We have the twin power turbo BMW engine. It is paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. Uh, this engine makes 300 horsepower at 5,800 RPM. You get 18 miles per gallon in the city, 27 miles per gallon on the highway. 21 miles per gallon combined uh, this SUV came with a four-year or 50,000 mile warranty but you can buy an extended warranty on this on this truck and obviously you're gonna be putting uh, gas in this vehicle premium gas is recommended Alright guys, now we're going to get into the rear of our BMW X5. As you can see, they are factory tinted windows. This vehicle has a very nice ride height, so you sit nice and high. Looking at the door panel, wow, it's gorgeous. You know, I don't expect anything less from BMW. You have that beautiful wood grain trim. This is soft touch. I don't think this is leather. This is like a leatherette material, but it feels very comfortable. This is leather. I really like the way that feels as well. As you can see here, the side door pocket, we have a cup holder. This is your window up and down. We have speakers in here. Um, and the door pocket is decently sized. I feel like they could have made this larger. Um, you can probably fit uh, maybe one Chipotle burrito in here. You have a nice, oh crap, door handle. So that's nice sitting in here just you have so much space in the back of this vehicle um, you get 37 inches of legroom you have the dual AC back here and uh, you have a 12 volt cigarette lighter all the materials back here are very luxurious putting on the armrest as you can see here you have two cup holders I like the, the way my elbow sits on this very comfortable putting it up very standard back row i really like bmw gives you a panoramic sunroof uh this is standard on the x5 that's very nice um as you can see you have led lights as well a uh, door handle over there the bottom and a uh, hanger up top overall the back seat of the x5 is very comfortable very spacious you can easily fit three adult adults back here and that is expected this is uh bmw's now mid-size luxury suv you know the x5 gives you the x7 gives you more space but you know this is very decent Getting into the BMW X5, door handle standard. Um, over here we have a very nice material. This is soft touch. It feels kind of like a leather wrap. This is leather as well. This is a wood grain. This is where the LED light uh, lights up at night. Um, unlock lock, automatic up down for all four. This is where you can turn in your side mirrors. So that's a very nice function in case you guys park in any tight parking areas. Um, this is where you control your mirrors from. This is how you open your automatic trunk. You have a very nice cup holder on the, on the left here to maybe put a water bottle. And as you can see, we have a lot of junk in here. So you can fit a lot of junk in this side door pocket. Um, any change you want here coming on this angle you have a nice change holder this is where you control your lights from fog lights uh, this is where you control your uh, dimming it uh, dimming your speedometer and tachometer um, closing and opening the AC this is the interior of our BMW X5 as you can see, it is the leather material, the black leather. You can't go wrong with a silver black combination, honestly. I think BMWs look really attractive in the silver color. 
The steering wheel on the X5 is very easy to hold. The three and nine o'clock positions are very nice. As you can see here, we have our horn button, the BMW uh, sign in the middle, obviously. Starting the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, press the start stop button. That fires right up for you. And the classic BMW ding. This is a 10.2 inch screen. I think the screen looks decent in here. Um, it could be a bit larger, maybe make it 12 inches, but you can see it's very clear, very easy to use. iDrive is one of the best systems in the market. Looking at the gauge cluster, um, it is standard. So you have that standard speedometer, standard tachometer, but very easy to read. Uh, it lets you know of any warnings in this vehicle. Um, looking over here, this one does have that one click down and then the one click up and it goes back to the middle turn signal. The steering wheel controls are very well thought out. Um, this is where you can control any modes from uh, like FM, AM, radio, anything like that. If you want to go to your Bluetooth audio, this is how you make a phone call. You can also scroll through the channels. So you can see here in the middle, scroll through any of that. Um, your voice commands which are helpful uh but you know it's nice to have that function uh i feel very comfortable in this vehicle uh as you can see you have a very high ride height uh looking at the mirror it is framed uh but i like the way it looks it still looks uh stylish um coming over here you have the mirror uh it is light you could do get a light when you open it up and you have a speaker over here for when you're speaking, when you're, you know, screaming at your spouse or whatever on the phone on your, on your drive uh, back from work. Looking up here, you have LED lights. This is how you open left, right? If you want to open all of them at the same time, you press that. And to shut them, you can press that as well. This is where you control your panoramic um, sunroof. It is a very nice size. It lets in a lot of air. Uh, I really like that the X5 comes with that um looking at the dashboard again very nice uh, wood grain very nice material all soft touch just feeling this is very luxurious i love the way the dashboard looks especially at night because at night there are leds around the whole entire vehicle uh looking at the system a bit more let's put it into reverse so i can show you what the backup camera looks like the backup camera is very, uh, very nice. It's very high resolution. You also get this. If you get close to something, it'll tell you back and front. Obviously, you saw the sensors. Um, you can. There's also parking aid lines. You can put those on or off. Obstacle marking. So that's a very nice function. Uh, looking at this over here, this is how you control your iDrive system. Uh, and this X5, this is not touchscreen, so don't try to touch that. That'll get fingerprints all over your screen. Looking over here, I really like how BMW gave you a bunch of shortcuts to navigate through the iDrive system. Uh, if you look at the navigation, the navigation, again, is very attractive. Um, I really like the way that looks. This vehicle does not have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Um, in the newer ones, you can get that equipped. You have an electronic parking brake auto hold. Auto hold is basically when you're behind a car and you brake and you don't want to keep your foot on the brake, you can put auto hold on. Um, this is where you turn on your parking sensors. This vehicle does have three drive modes. Uh, you have Eco and uh, Sport, if it wants to come up on the screen, I don't know why. Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport. So that's nice functionality. It's nice that BMW gives you three options. Eco Pro is that uh, auto uh, on and off. We'll get into that a bit more into the video. Um, Looking at the glove box, it is damped, it is lined in felt. Very nice. If you want to hide your diamonds in here, you can. Very comfortable. And BMW, you have these Bombay doors. Very nice um, USB port, aux port, uh, a lot of space to put uh, stuff in here. I like this compartment. You can put your key in here as well. Uh, overall, the BMW X5's interior is very luxurious, very comfortable, and very gorgeous. All right, guys, now we're driving the BMW X5. Um, this is a very comfortable driving SUV. People call this the sports car of the luxury SUV market, and 
it really shows this SUV is very capable uh, you know it has an 8-speed automatic transmission 300 horsepower talking about the interior a bit more um, this vehicle does have heated seats so that's it feels really nice on you know in the cold weather um, talking about the screen it's very easy to use you just use this dial over here to control it as you can see I have um, my Bluetooth audio setup uh, navigation very I love all these buttons over here um, it makes it very easy access to while you're driving so you can keep your focus on the road the gear lever and the BMW if you go to the left it puts it in like a shift mode so you can use that I like that and as you can see here we have a button here to select different drive modes so you have eco pro uh, you have comfort and you have sport uh, I like sport the best but Comfort feels comfortable. It's, it's funny because it really coincides with what the drive modes are. You feel an instant change in the vehicle when you're driving it and you change the drive mode. Comfort feels very comfortable. Um, Eco Pro is that auto on off when you're at a light to save gas. It gets annoying. Um, I would probably keep it out of that function, but I know a lot of you guys want to save uh, gas in your vehicle. So you can keep it on that if you'd like, but I would probably opt out of that. Um, sport feels very nice. If you have an, if you're trying to overtake a vehicle, keeping it in sport, this vehicle will do it very easily. Uh, I really love how the steering on the X5 feels. It's not too loose. It's not too stiff. It's it's perfect for me. Um, this vehicle is large it handles corners very well it's a very well handling SUV and BMW you know being the ultimate driving machine when they released this model this is the third generation x5 they really took the time to ensure that they were um, hammering down all the nails that they needed to and I really think this vehicle depicts that speaker system in this vehicle is, is the standard speaker system that you get it sounds decent uh, it's it actually sounds very nice um, you can control, you have a lot of controls in this vehicle, um, to, to customize it to how you like it. So BMW, you know, is known for the iDrive system and it's one of the best in the market and it truly shows the ease of driving this vehicle, the high ride height, the luxurious, comfortable interior, the seats are very comfortable, um, make this an excellent option and at cold start in the morning when you hear the exhaust it sounds really raspy and really attractive even I'll do a short uh, takeoff in a, in a second once I get a chance but you hear that engine purr and it sounds really really attractive I really like the way this vehicle sounds um, my mom previously had an MDX I think the X5 sits uh, higher than the MDX and the X5, the one that we have, doesn't have three rows. You can get a third row equipped. They're very hard to find. It's almost next to impossible to find a third generation X5 equipped with a third row. It is very tight. So if you're interested in this SUV, keep in mind that it will probably be the two row variant. Um, the third row is honestly useless. It's pretty much reserved for kids. Um, but up here, we have I have such nice space. I have these nice cup holders. It's very luxurious. And you feel like a boss driving this vehicle. You really do. Like, it, it feels, you, you feel very, very in charge. And the vehicle really reacts to that as well. You put your foot down and the vehicle takes off. It does exactly what you want it to do. It moves wherever you want it to move. So I really enjoy driving this SUV. It's extremely pleasurable, extremely comfortable. If you're looking for that luxury, this will mark that. This will check mark that. 
if you're looking for sporty it will mark that box but if you're looking for something that's a bit calmer than this if you are not you know you're worried about the bmw reliability the maintenance costs and i do admit bmw maintenance maintenance costs are a lot so if you're worried about that but you still want to get into a luxury suv i always recommend the lexus rx350 or the acura mdx the Infiniti QX60 is very is is a nice option as well, but I've heard transmission issues with the Infiniti QX60, and I've I've honestly heard transmission issues with certain model years of the Acura MDX as well. If you want a vehicle that is sporty, and if you can find one certified with a nice warranty, or you can buy, you know, you can add on a warranty, or you're not worried about the cost, the maintenance costs look no further than the x5 because i promise you every day you drive this vehicle it will put a smile on your face all right guys putting in sport mode let's do a little acceleration test as you can oh wow wow as you can see if this camera you can move out of my way uh but very nice acceleration very easy to overtake it just feels like a sports car i love it Love, love, love it. I'm telling you, this SUV will put a smile on your face. And this SUV honestly feels like a sports car to me. It, right, it's high, but it is just so much fun to drive. I love it. Yeah.